tired of lackluster food and cell conditions? Or maybe you ended up in a solitary room for an inappropriate behavior during your daily routines. Worry not, Class D personnel. We got you covered. Behold, the Endurance, our brand new program. We want you to put your skills into practice in a variety of tasks currently unattended in our facility. As you know, SCP is an organization pieced together to make the world a better and safer place for both humanity and our specimen. We're like a giant mechanism. To sustain this perfection for years ahead, some maintenance practices are heavily required. Recently, we found out about a few faulty parts holding our facility back. But thanks to our brilliant management, a swift and organized removal of said defects has been arranged. And that's where you come in. We need you to fill in these empty spots to keep our organization running. Don't let your lack of qualifications be a concern. Presented solution is just a temporary measure, so you won't have to struggle for long. It also means you have a limited time to gather an additional food service for the next year. And who knows, if you happen to be a bad boy, you could shed some light on your future and say farewell to your nasty solitary room once and for all. Sounds amazing, right? So join us right now. Log in with your credentials in the terminal and you will be presented with a variety of jobs to choose from. We count on you, Class D. Let's make our world a happier place. Together. Hi there, I'm Ronald. Welcome to the Endurance Program. You chose, or perhaps you've been forced to work, as a night guard here on Level D. Tonight, I'll be teaching you how to operate this junky camera system. I'm a maintenance engineer, so keeping this crap in decent working condition is basically my only duty here, so I'd be the best person to draw you in. No worries, now go easy on ya. And just don't tell the rest of the staff I said that. They would love to see you running headless. I don't really share their attitude though. As you can see, there's a PC station for your disposition. It's rocking an early version of our software on it. Hence, there's that weird terminal thing on a monitor to your right. But it's not as complicated as you think. Its main purpose is running some essential commands and logging in since user interface assets aren't ready for that yet. It also powers up a camera system, which is an essential tool for this job. So you absolutely need to keep this thing running. For security measures, the passwords on every computer here in the facility are changed every day. Since you're a class D and you have no permissions around here, I'll be leaving a sticky note with a passcode for you. So, shall we try to see if you'll be able to run this thing? I'm going to remotely pull the plug in your area. Cutting off the power means you'll have to boot this machine up again from the ground up. Here's what you'll have to do. Flip the lever on the wall in front of you to get your room some juice. Then power up your PC, that boxy thing on the right of your table. You'll have to wait a few seconds for it to boot up, and then it's going to ask you for a password. Type in whatever's on that sticky note. If done correctly, we should be able to speak again. Ready? Looks like this is going to be easier than I thought. Well done. Now, let's familiarize you with the cameras. There are three floors for you to watch over. Each has a set of cameras. Some of these hang in dark places and have been equipped with lights. 
If there's a flashlight available, a text in the corner of your camera feed will appear. Pressing Z on your keyboard activates the light. Of course you have one of these flashlights with you in the office as well, but you need to keep in mind, all of them consume power when used. Sounds like now would be a good time to talk about power management. This night's an easy one. For practice purposes, you've been provided with unlimited power. Unfortunately, tomorrow there will be a limited energy pool for your night shift. Things that may drain your electricity are lights, PC, camera system, ventilation, and a door. Yes, that door on your right. Hence that usage meter is overloaded. But there are ways you can save some of that precious energy. Uh, there's a link to the ventilation system on CAM2D. By clicking on a server unit on the left, you are able to toggle ventilation on and off. But you have to keep in mind, we're deep underground. You still need to be able to breathe. Another way is putting your PC to sleep when it's not in use. It consumes less power, wakes up crazy fast, and starts right where it left. You can do that by pressing X on your keyboard. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a replica of a mask of SCP-035 for you to use. Being a guard among these crazy abominations is no easy task, but it may help you fool some of them. And that's it. I need to go help the others now. Remember what I said. And be sure to make use of a library on the left monitor to look those SCPs you're about to encounter up. It may save your life. Hang in there, and good luck. Mm -hmm.